There is nothing worse than powering up your Fire Stick and noticing it works awfully slow. So today I will show you the best and the easiest way to make your Fire Stick work faster. The first one, the most obvious one, and usually the most helpful is getting your Fire Stick restarted. To do so, hold down the home button on your remote, go to settings, scroll until you see my Fire TV, and from here you have to click on the restart button and then confirm the restart. It's going to completely shut off your Fire Stick and then power back on. It's the easiest and most convenient way to make your Fire Stick work way faster in a matter of moments. Click on restart and see if that resolves your problem. However, in some cases you might have to follow some extra steps. By default, there are lots of processes which run in your Fire Stick in the background and you don't even know about them, but all of them, they do slow down your device. So now we will turn them off. Once again, we'll have to go to settings, so either click on that gear icon in the right part of the screen or hold down the home button on your remote. Then we gotta go to preferences, open privacy settings, and make sure to turn off the device usage data, collection of app usage data, and interest-based ads. This way you turn off some of the background processes, which you don't really need, but all of them, they take a toll on the performance of your device. Then go back a bit and go to data monitoring and make sure to turn off the data usage monitoring as well, for the same reason. And also I recommend going to notification settings to turn off the application notification pop-ups. That also should slightly increase your performance. Also, there is a way to increase the loading speed of your Fire Stick when you first turn it on. To do so, we go to Featured Content and make sure to disable the audio and video autoplay. What it does, it disables the trailers that usually run on the main screen of your Fire Stick when you just turn it on. And since your Fire Stick won't have to load them anymore, it's going to work faster. Then go back a bit until you see My Fire TV, open it up, go to About and then go to check for updates. Amazon releases updates quite often, sometimes very good, sometimes very terrible, but in terms of performance, I would still recommend you checking for updates once in a while. Usually updated devices run better than not updated ones. So click on the check for updates and your device is going to check if there's any update needed. As you can see on the right side, it says my Fire TV is up to date, but in your case, it might be different. If it says there's an update, just do the update. Next, if you use a VPN on your device, make sure you use a premium VPN, for example NordVPN, because it's going to be way faster than any free VPN which you might find on the internet. And while I do understand the temptation to get a free VPN, save a couple bucks per month, usually it's not worth it. It will have only a couple of servers, a couple of locations, they are going to be overloaded all the time. You'll be getting loads of ads because, well, they gotta make money some way. So usually it's just not worth it to use a free VPN. And in case if you want to upgrade to a premium service, you can use my link in a pinned comment below to get four months of NordVPN totally for free, which is a great deal. So make sure to check out the link in the description. Also, sometimes you may face a problem that out of all of your apps, only one is lagging and working slower than it has to, while other applications are working fine. Luckily, we know how to fix this problem. We'll have to go to settings, so hold down the home button on your remote, go to settings, then go to applications, and then to manage installed apps. And let's say you are having troubles with Streamio. So here is the same application, let's say it works slowly for you, while all the other applications work fine. What should you do in that case? Firstly, click on the application, then you have to press on the force stop. This way it will totally turn off the app, so it will stop running in the background. And then what you should do is click on clear cache. This way you delete all the cache that is being stored in the application and hopefully it will make it run faster. And as a last resort solution, you can always uninstall the application and then install it once again. You press confirm here and the app will be deleted. What's also very important is the amount of apps you have on your device. If you hover over manage installed applications on the right side, you see my internal space and you'll notice that out of 5 gigabytes, I only have 2. And it's not too bad actually, could be worse. In your case, I would check it out and see how much free space you have. 
if it's less than one gigabyte, I would definitely recommend you to delete some applications because the amount of free storage also has a great impact on the performance of your Fire Stick. And there's two ways to control it. Of course, you could manually go to all the applications you don't need, click on delete and uninstall the apps. But there is one more way you could do it, and it's actually easier. If you go back a bit, you will notice the auto offload option. What it does, it automatically uninstalls unused application when your Fire Stick is low on storage. And while it deletes the applications, it still saves the app data, so you can easily reinstall the application later. If you want to have that feature on and enabled on your device, just click on the auto offload feature and it's going to be turned on automatically. And if at any time you decide to turn it off, just click on it and it's going to be disabled. So it's really simple. I hope the methods we mentioned in the video helped you speed up your Fire Stick, but if it didn't, there's one more way to do it, but it's actually 100% last resort solution. You can make a factory reset of your Fire Stick, which is going to delete all the data, all the settings, all the applications. It's going to be like a brand new Fire Stick out of the box, but of course you would have to set up again from scratch. And if you decide you want to do a factory reset of your Fire Stick, you have to go to My Fire TV, scroll down, and you'll see the Reset to Factory Defaults option. You'll click on it and then press on Reset. As I mentioned, all your personal data, all your settings, all the apps are going to be lost and totally erased from your Fire Stick. So consider it only as a last resort option. And I hope this video was helpful. Remember, we have a great discount to NordVPN, which will provide you four months of service totally for free. And see you next time!